Hi, my name is Jim Noe, and I am a technical support engineer at Hawkridge Systems. Today, we are going to be covering how to borrow a network license, return a network license, and how to deactivate and activate a standalone license so that it can be transferred between systems. First, we will be covering how to borrow a license. This is for licenses that are used in a network environment, and this will allow you to take the license on your system so that you can use SOLIDWORKS when you are not connected to a licensing server. It is particularly useful if you will be away from the office and need to use SOLIDWORKS, such as during a business trip, or if you connect to the server via an unstable VPN. It is important to note that borrowing a license will make the license unavailable to other users for the duration that it is borrowed. To borrow a license, SOLIDWORKS must be closed, and the Solid Network License Manager must be open. This can be accessed via the Windows Start menu. Once it is open, select the License Borrowing tab and select the license that you would like to borrow. In my case, this will be the SOLIDWORKS Premium with Simulation Premium license. Every license of SOLIDWORKS that is borrowed will use a standard license, in addition to any other license that is required. We can also select the period of time that we would like to borrow the license for. In my case, it's only one day, so I won't be changing anything. But a license can be borrowed for up to 30 days. To borrow a license, Select the license and hit the borrow key and then hit OK. Once the work with SOLIDWORKS is completed and a connection to the server is established, you will want to return the license so that it can be used by another user. To return a license, open the Solid Network License Manager and select the License Borrowing tab. Choose the license that you would like to return and hit Return. Once the license is returned to the server, it will be accessible to other users. If a license is not returned, it will automatically remove itself from the system and return to the server at the end of the borrowing period. Now we will be focusing on transferring standalone licenses between systems. Standalone licenses can only be active on a single system at any one time. If the license is going to be used on multiple systems, it must be transferred between them. To successfully move a license, it must first be deactivated. Open SOLIDWORKS and select Help. This will create a drop-down menu. We will select Deactivate License. If you are using SOLIDWORKS 2015 or an older version, select Transfer License. This will open the Activation Wizard, where we will select the license that we want to move to the other computer. Select the license that you want to move and select Next. The wizard will automatically go through the deactivation process. Once it is successful, select Finish. Once the license is successfully deactivated, we can activate it on the system where we want to use the program. Please note that both systems must be using the same serial number for the license that we want to transfer. To activate the license, start SOLIDWORKS. The activation wizard will open and we can select the license that we want to activate. Then select Next, and the software will attempt to activate the license. Assuming that no error occurs, the license should now be activated on the system. If you encounter any errors when performing these actions, please contact Technical Support. We can be reached at 877-266-4469 in the U.S. and 866-587-6803 in Canada. You can also send an email to support at hawkridgesys.com. In today's video, we covered borrowing a license on a network and transferring a standalone license between systems. Thanks for watching.